did a lot for research. So what we've been doing in the last four or five years is looking at which technology have the most impact on the future of work, business, government. And AI came as one of the big ones. So this is why we focused on AI. Do you think AI will fundamentally generate different business models? Why? As AI will be everywhere, they all will be related to AI because this technology will be in everything we do the same way that electricity is everywhere. I'm totally convinced that AI, the next 10,000 startup will be AI plus a business idea. But it will change everything in business by bring, combining the technology of AI with some business ideas. Where do entrepreneurs start if they want to embrace AI in the future? What is critical is you have to think about, once you have understood the technology, how can it change the way we do business? And how can we do better business more efficient, bring more value to the consumers by introducing AI. And that's why the people who will make the most... Do you think today's digital giants, including BAT, will be disrupted by completely new players? I'm totally convinced that the same way that Microsoft and IBM were displaced by telecom operator, and the telecom operator were displaced by the current players, the next wave will be won by people will focus on AI and the next one trillion dollar company will not be one of these names, it will be an AI company. When all repetitive tasks are performed by intelligent machines or devices, what will become the core competences required for any job? The good news is it will reduce the volume activity, the repetitive tasks, whether they are manual or intellectual, and leave space for creativity, empathy, interaction with humans. And therefore, I believe that there will be much more interesting jobs, there will be much more interesting opportunities for people, and a better level playing field, allowing less gap between people who have access to digital and people who don't. In public debate, there is currently widespread anxiety about AI and significant fears of what is to come. So what is your opinion on this? Today, when you look at artificial intelligence, it is clear that we need to blend artificial intelligence with humans instead of opposing the two because in the long run we will all use artificial intelligence in our daily work, in our daily life, and that will make the work and the job more interesting. Whatever machine we gave you to enhance your intelligence, human intelligence, you need to have the skills. So you need to learn the basic skills, mathematics, writing, ability to learn, empathy, capacity to interact with people, creativity, ability to convince people. Once you have this, you can combine with AI. So I'm suggesting to people that to really focus on their education, to really think about what AI is bringing to the world, and then think about how they can benefit. SIPS has played a major role in fostering Sino-European ties in the past. So what role do you see SIPS uh, will be playing in the future, in the relationship in the years ahead. So I think SIPS needs to continue in a much more modern way under the leadership of the Dean to uh, develop the uh, relationship and the platform. Oh, we need to co-construct the relationship between China and Europe and we are the one that can do it, CIBS and Roland